Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have the numbers for Windows 11 and the Windows market share, of course, that we usually look at at the beginning of each month. So today, December the 1st, 2023, um, Windows 11 continues to slowly grow, and Windows 10 is declining. So last month, Windows 10 was at 69.3%. Um, in October and in November, it now drops to 68%. So this is approximately the level that it was a year ago in December of 2022. So this kind of shows you that, so if we look at it here in January, December, 67.95, same level. So it had gained because of the Windows 7 going away at the beginning of the year. But uh, now it's back down to the same level. But it's kind of interesting, same level. It hasn't gained, it hasn't lost in the last year. It's at the same level. People are holding on to Windows 10, definitely. Um, Windows 11, steady grow, uh, steady growth. So in September, it was 23.6. Uh, in October, it was at 26.17. And this month, it's at 26.6 close to half a point of percentage growth. So it's continuing its growth, and I would guess that most of it is probably from new PCs. And this is gonna be interesting because uh, we did see that PC sales are now actually on the rise. Uh, last statement from uh, Canalys seems to say that we are now going to have growth of the PC market for the next year. This should help Windows 11, technically, because no more PCs are really sold with Windows 10 for the most part. And um, I think that's going to make Windows 11 actually gain more market share now. So these are interesting numbers, definitely, when you look at it. As for the rest, uh, of course, uh, Windows 7 still holding on at 3%. And Windows uh, 8 and the rest are kind of down. So uh, this is pretty much what we have this month, uh, Windows 10. Same level as last year for uh, 68%. Uh, the only difference is that last year in December, uh, if we look at Windows 11, Windows 11 in December of last year was at 16.9. So now it's at 26.6. So not totally 10, but close to 10% more in a year, which technically is not that much when you compare that Windows 10 was growing much faster than that when it was released way back in 2015 and, and the year after 2016 and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.